I like our psalm today, Psalm 23. You know, the one that says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And then says that the Lord does all these good things to take care of me. Like he makes me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He even leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This is where I become confused. The rod is a club that the shepherd uses to prod and poke and even hit the sheep to get them to move where the shepherd wants them to go. The staff is that long stick with a crook at the end to hook the sheep and force them to move where the shepherd wants. Neither one of those things sound very comfortable to me, but I guess it's comforting to know that God will move me to the right place with every tool he has, even a rod and staff. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. This one is super hard for doggies. Do you know how hard it is to watch another doggy get his supper time right in front of you? The drool, the drool. Then he says, you anoint my head with oil. Anointing with oil is pouring oil over someone's head. This is also called consecration. Consecration was used to set something apart as sacred or setting someone apart for special ministry, like being a king. Jesus was consecrated, and that's why he is called the Christ, which means the anointed one. Shepherds would pour oil over their sheep's head because it ran around all the crevices and wrinkles around their eyes and their ears and their noses, which kept them from har safe from harmful parasites and bugs. They couldn't infect the sheep who were anointed, so anointing was also for health. When Jesus is your shepherd, he sets you apart as holy and makes you sacred by pouring his Holy Spirit like oil all over you to keep his sheep healthy. With the Spirit making me holy and keeping me from harm, of course I would say that my cup overflows and that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Amen.